This is a drive through vaccination center in Renton, and right now it's only serving health care workers. But properties like this could soon open up to serve a much broader population, including patients of clinics like HealthPoint, which serves low income people. They're a front lines provider, the ones responsible for vaccinating a swath of the population most at risk of getting seriously ill from COVID. I spoke with HealthPoint's medical director about their game plan for the coming months. Is there a plan to reach out to people and say, hey, you're, it's your turn, um, you're in the age group and uh, it, you're up next to get this vaccine? Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, and uh, you know, that can be as simple as a phone call or a letter and that will work for some people and it could be something that is more grassroots like um, staging an event that it actually happens um, where the population that we're trying to target congregates. Dr. Carolyn Halley says HealthPoint will lean on organizations like the Somali Health Board to communicate with patients and encourage them to get vaccinated. <laughs> the organization Somali Bridge produced this video explaining how vaccines were developed. Are you concerned or worried that patients will forget or be too busy to come in and get that second dose to give them the full immunity? When we start vaccinating patients, we're going to need to be thinking about, can we set up that second appointment time right then and there at the time they're getting that first vaccine? Um, can we send them text messages the day of that second vaccine? Can we also, some people are going to respond more to old school efforts. So can we give them a big piece of paper that's in, you know, lots of colors and multiple languages that they can put up on the refrigerator that reminds them. Dr. Halley says she's planning to answer questions from patients who don't fully trust the vaccines. She says her plan is to listen, to empathize, and then explain the facts as she knows them and that she as a doctor trusts vaccines. In Renton, Ted Land, King 5 News.